Turning the Table started uh, in 2019, and the foundation started at the height of what happened with the murder of George Floyd. And I was in therapy, and I was like, just very sad, and like, I had a lot of hopelessness coming along. My therapist started to tell me about the murals and the paintings that were happening in Durham, North Carolina. And I remember walking around our coffee shop, present day on Main, and it's a slave cemetery that if you stand in front of the coffee shop, like to the right of it, and I heard, I feel like spirit, my ancestors say like the tables are songs. And within one week of putting art up in this space, our customer clientele moved solely from 90, 95% of only being white customers to black and brown. And to this day, it's been an amazing thing to see how art can transition and transfer throughout a community and a space. The Turning the Tables project is all about creating a space where people can talk about big ideas especially when they have different ideas about them. Bringing this project to Orange County schools, there was this specific bent of belonging because the sense of belonging wasn't here for a majority of the kids. We asked kids to tell us what does belonging look like. Um, and this is the result of that. to send a message that everyone belongs no matter who they are and it's especially a message to those who often feel like they don't matter or belong. What is important to you about having people from different backgrounds feel like they belong? Uh, because a lot of the people on this uh, represented by the symbols, a lot of them face bullying or harassment or being told that they don't deserve to exist or um, they get attacked and stuff. It's really hard on people's mental health. There, there's a reason that there are so much mental health problems among LGBTQ plus youth. It, it's not them being snowflakes like some people want you to think. It's because they're being, you know, getting like death threats, called slurs, etc. It really wears down on you after a while, no matter how hard you try. Yeah. A kind message can basically change someone's day or their week or their life. This is not black church, which means we have 12 minutes, and that means 12 minutes. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to bring up the star of the decade, in my opinion, back, and they're going to, you want to unveil the table first? I think that the project is a great example of what happens when the community comes together with schools. And I often have people ask me in the community, how can we support the work that you're doing as an equity officer? And I can't think of a better way than to like look at the equity plan, look at our data, and to say, this is the part that I can play. They looked at that and said, this is a part that we can play to help move that data from that 45% to 100% of students feeling like they belong. Well, you know, when students are in high school, this is where they start finding themselves, finding out who they are. And we want to ensure that every student feels like they belong. So this was something that kind of spoke to me and it spoke to our chief equity officer within the district. My main takeaway from this project is the importance of what art can do. And it goes back to encouraging conversation, to 
bringing awareness to topics that are sometimes hard to discuss. It's just another example of how important the arts are in our society and in our community in unifying us and shedding light on issues that we need to talk about but that are sometimes hard to talk about.